Morning once again, my name is Nanama Aqua. This is the GH Today News and you are welcome. On to our first story. Three police personnel and four civilians have been injured after the law enforcement agency's officials tried stopping some angry youth from protesting in Winneba. Now the youth who were protesting against the sale of the Ramses site in Winneba resisted the attempt by the police to stop them, leading to the clash. They have since vowed to resist any attempt to sell the said land. Youth and opinion leaders took to the streets of Winneba on Tuesday in protest of the alleged sale of the Ramsa site and lagoon, which serves as a site for hunting during the annual Abwatri festival. The attempt of the youth to get to the area as part of their protest led to an altercation with the police, leading to three policemen and four civilians being injured. Security chiefs in the country have pledged to ensure peace is maintained during the elections in 2024. Taking turns to speak during a meeting to strategize ahead of the elections on Tuesday, heads of military, immigration, prisons, police service and the Electoral Commission all pledged to ensure the elections are peaceful. Addressing heads of various security agencies during a meeting in Accra on Tuesday, the Inspector General of Police said his outfit is ready to work with others to ensure the elections are peaceful. Every election that is conducted, there is peace, security, law and order. Whichever way we look at it, we have only one gun. And we who sit here, collectively as professionals and as citizens and patriotic one and bad, we will do whatever it takes to let the country to continue to be at peace with itself. And we will not compromise on this. The National Road Safety Authority says despite a 7% reduction in deaths due to road crashes, more needs to be done to further reduce it. The authority, as part of measures, has since launched the 2023 Christmas Road Safety Campaign to help reduce road crashes during the festive season. National data from the Ghana Police Service indicates that 1,839 persons were killed between January and October 2023. Though a 7% reduction in the previous year's data, the authority believes more needs to be done to have the numbers reduced drastically. Now over to the court. The High Court is expected to hear a motion for interlocutory injunction filed by former Sanitation Minister Madame Cecilia Dapa against the Office of the Special Prosecutor. A recent study into the financial behavior and well-being of the working population in Ghana has revealed that over 60% of the working class is experiencing financial stress. The findings detailed in the Old Mutual Financial Services Monitor also highlighted that in an effort to make ends meet, 61% have dipped into their savings. Head of distribution at Old Mutual Ghana, Emma Okansi, has urged employers to use their findings to tailor solutions to the needs of their employees. She spoke on GH Today. We discovered that 64% of Ghanaian, that's the working Ghanaian, it's financially stressed and it's a cause for instance. 64% of exactly. Ghanaians are financially stressed. Exactly. Mm. So with this, well, I recommend it to our monetary policy committee at the central bank to also pay attention to this particular um, report. So aside that, we also realize that 55% have actually, are also saying that, oh, we are earning less than what we earned last year. And thanks be to almighty inflation. So we all know what is happening on the, on the market. Um, we also realize that people, uh, 44% of the population or the sample size that we spoke to also indicated that, uh, the uh, single income earners. My name is Nanama Aqua. Continue to listen to us on starfm.com.gh and for our next bulletins on GH1 television. You can also log into starfm.com.gh for more news updates. Have a wonderful Wednesday.